gets it. Count it. 14-12. Hollison down two. 45 seconds left to go. First quarter. Good defense here. Hollison's using their feet to slide defensively. They're not reaching with their hands. Foley on depth. Ooh, Foley almost got him. There you go. Travel on Ho Hopedale. When you see a forced travel like that, that's the result of playing with your feet because he thinks you're going to go and you're not going to go and, and you, you get your feet set, your balance right, and that's going to that's gonna prevent you from doing anything stupid and that ends up in a travel from the other team. Alston's got 15 seconds to work with. OZ gets in it with depth. <laughs> That'll be a jump ball and a jump leg. Looks like his leg yeah, is gone OZ. there. <laughs> So Hopedale will get it with 12 seconds with a two-point lead over Holliston. Ooh, Depp gets yeah, fouled they're by gonna, Foley. Let's see if they call it an OZ. Yeah, they're going to call it an OZ, yeah. OZ. Yeah, he came through. He, I think OZ with that football mentality. <laughs> you got to love it. You really do. Most of the time it works out. Yeah, yeah, until, yeah until it doesn't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 1.2 seconds left to go. Makes the first 15 12 Hope Deal. Depp gets two. Boy, he is smooth. He is. So hauls him with one second here. Merkin doesn't even want to attempt it. And that's the end of the first quarter here. Holliston down four. So, Jay, what are you seeing that you like from the Holliston team here? And what are you thinking they could work on going into the second quarter? All right, what, what I like is defense. And the defense is really playing well. They're, they're using their feet, sliding really effectively and efficiently. Um, you know, they're doing a good job. They got lost a couple times. A couple guys got free. But that's all right. When you, if you're playing tough defense, that's going to happen. Offensively, and this is something that Holliston, a lot of Holliston teams in the past, boys and girls, more spacing on the offense. Now, what they're doing is they're playing their zone, and what it, what they did at the beginning of the zone, Hopedale, is they came out of that, they stretched that zone. And the, the more space that they stretch out, that's the more space they got to cover. That's going to open up your lanes for somebody cutting through and somebody making layups. But you have to force the issue. If, if you're offensively, if, if you don't have that spacing, then they don't have to have their spacing, and that, that closes up the room right, right in the middle. You want to keep that lane kind of open um, for the drive and for the, um, you know, the dish on the uh, player coming down through. So that's what you want to do. You want to stay, stay wide, stay, stay out. A lot of times the defense will not stretch with you, but if you find a defense that will, then you want to stay even wider. There you go. So the second quarter underway here. 16-12, Hopedale with the lead. OZ puts it Count up. Count it, and, and one. one. Oh, baby. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> OZ's working a little bit of facial hair there, huh? He is. A little, yeah. little stash on him, you know. He's been working the facial gear since <laughs> freshman year. Yeah. <laughs> it is, it's, you can finally see it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nice job. Nicely done. You make those free throws, it's all the difference in the world. All the difference. Six-point play for OZ. 16-15, Hollison down one. 7.44-41 left to go in the half. Got to get those hands up a little bit higher. Hopedale working the half-court offense. Hollison looks like they want, they're in the zone now. They want to trap. Down with six seconds on the shot clock. Hopedale recovers. Third chance offensive rebound. Good D, good D. Make him use that clock. Madden puts it up. Merkin gets the board. That's good board right there. It's really tough to box out when you're playing that zone defense. 
Holliston trailing by one with 6.46 to play in the first half. Moving the ball around. See how they, they, get that, they get that defense moving. If he pulls out a little bit more, Bison, he'll have a little more room. And Merkin gets fouled on the three ball. Yeah, he'll be shooting three at the line. 6.30 left to go in the half. 16-15. Holliston down one with uh, Boston going the line. He hasn't been afraid to put some shots no. up, huh? <laughs> Austin is not a shy man on the court. Or off the court. But, <laughs> but, but you know, you got to have that. Sometimes you got to have that, you know, and, and if, if he's the guy who your offense is not necessarily built around, but he's the guy you expect a lot of offense from, then he's going to have to do a lot of the shooting. And, you know, the girls had the same situation with Meg Simpson, and, uh, you know, she does a lot of the shooting. And sometimes what happens is the rest of the team kind of, like, Okay, you, you shoot, you know. But that's not good for a shooter, a, a scorer or a shooter. Because if Merck had a couple other scorers here who could scoring 8, 10, 12 points a game consistently, that's going to open the floor for him, and that's going to make him a better scorer too. Hmm. So Merkin takes the lead for these Panthers, 18-16, with 628 to play in the second quarter. Good press here by Holliston. Full court man, they're back in the man to man now. One thing I like what Coach Venetian did with the um, with the zone, you throw a zone in and occasionally. That's pretty good, you know. You kind of get them mixed up, they gotta figure out what they're doing, and then you come back to the man. Long three attempts. Dad good. gets it. 19-18 Hopedale. Now they're pressing. Easily broken by Holliston. Razzinelli. Mike G running around the court here. Stolen by Dickin, and it's Holliston ball. One thing you want to be a little, a little careful with against, especially against the zone, but all defenses, be careful about getting it down into a corner because really the, the corner... Those two lines, the end line and the in the uh, in the sideline, are, are actually two defenders. If you get too deep in there, because you can't can't go by them. So one person is there, but really it's three defenders that are there. So you got to be really careful about it. Nice steal. Oh, team basketball! Ooh, beautiful pass. That's a beautiful pass. Nineteen eighteen, Hopedale. Five sixteen to play in the second quarter. Dylan Foley, I remember Dylan Foley from last year, and oh, yeah. uh, he really, really seemed to come on at the end of last year. He was really playing well. We talked about him a lot. Yeah, and he's got good size, and, you know, it's out there. Because Depp, Depp has pretty good size, too. And there's a switch. For three, short, Mike G with the board. Nice pass. How to look. OZ. Depp fights for it. Hopedale gains possession. 1918 Hopedale. Mike, Mike did a good job looking down court. You know, you're that you're that point guy. You want to give the guy a ball when he's ready for it. Don't wait till you get down court. Just get him the ball. And that was a nice, nicely played by him. No look pass by Dickin. Into the post, the fade. Well defended. Oh. Ball stays here as Koev and Schmidt check in for Foley and Mike G. Bobby fights and intercepts the pass. That's good job right there. Let, let that offense set up. There you go. And Koev draws the foul. When the defense beats you downfield, you wait for your offense. If your offense can beat them downfield, don't wait for that defense to set up. That's run really well. That's a really nice job right there. How to run the the uh, break transition. So Vaughn checks in again. Frazzinelli back to Koev. See that now it's, there's a lot of guys in there. See what I'm talking about with, with the... Uh, we want to spread that offense a little bit. Nice pass, nice inlet. Count it in, and he'll be shooting. Very nice pass. 
It appears we had a fan just walk up. I don't know if you saw that. A fan just came up and was showing us the YouTube stream. Oh, really? I'm not sure what that was about. But, yeah. Okay. Oh. All right, so OZ converts. 3.43 left to go. Tie score at 19 here. Let's see if OZ can break this tie. 3.43 and a half. And not quite. Hopedale's David Manning with the rebound. Good D. Kov's a good ball player, isn't he? Great passer. He, yeah, he really, really does a nice job. He does a nice job defensively, too. Mm -hmm. Dickens, three ball isn't good. And Frazzinelli going the other way. Oh, nicely done. Little give and go there. But that's why you got to spread that offense out. So that, that should have been an, an easy layup. He should have had the lane all to himself. OZ. Depth with the board. Hope Dale looking to take the lead. Oh, nice fight. Good job. Good job right there. And that'll be Holliston Ball as Bobby Frasnelli's in to hustle for it. And it looks like we have the starting lineup back on here. That was a great job by Frasnelli. You know, Bobby gets in there. He's a fighter. He's a scrapper. He get in there and uh, tie that thing up. Me and Lucas like to call him one of the Marcus Smarts of this team. Right, there That's you go, yeah. And that makes a big difference. 2.46 to play in the first half. Tie game here at 19-19. Like oh, 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 they got it. With it, and Andre gets possession. Nice Third pass, hit. count it. Hayden oh, baby. <laughs> Holliston takes the lead, 21-19. That's how to pass the ball. You get that ball down there, and you get your man on you, just give it to the guy with the layup, and Caden finished it off. That stall started with good defense by Joey Gentile on depth. Great team basketball. 2-10 to play in the first half. See how Hopedale responds. Oh, up and travel. The travel yep. is how they yep. respond. So now we're into the part of the and half, Bryson. With, with timeout, sorry about that. Now we're into the part of the half. The last three minutes of each half, you got to be very careful that one team, you, you don't let that other team get a little hot and score like eight or ten points. So many times that's when a basketball game is lost. Here for Hollison with two minutes left, what you want to do is get a couple stops. If, if you can make a basket, at least get out of here with a two-point lead. That would be absolutely huge for this team. They are playing very, very well tonight. Some of the best basketball I've seen from yeah. them all season. And it's not the Dr. Pepper either. <laughs> I think it might be, Jay. <laughs> They're really playing well. And that's to your point about you know making sure that Hopedale doesn't pull away in the last couple minutes of the half. That's something I've noticed. Coach Venetian usually would kind of, this would be the time that he'd give his starters some rest. Yeah. But I'm noticing the opposite in this game, and it's right. worked out to their favor, I think. Yeah, you've got to be a little careful about that if you're, um, you're fighting. The, you're, you can do that in the, give them a rest, of, you know, when the between the first and second period and the third and fourth period. But the end of the half and everything, unless somebody's in foul trouble, you really don't want to give a team an opportunity to get on a run. But right here, Hollison's got an opportunity to take a little time off the clock and maybe get some, uh, get some points. Just under two minutes to play in the first half. 21-19, Holliston. Oh, I think Austin was looking for that one. Vaughn drives. He's in traffic. That would have, that would have been a long skip pass over to, um, to, to Merck, but he was open. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Nice drive and dish. Vaughn, this baseline jumper. Dumas puts it Count back it. in. Well, Alston up four now with 128 to play in the first half. Dumas with two big end of the half baskets. Played very nicely done. Got to keep this defensive pressure. It's really important to keep this defensive pressure without fouling. Oh Into boy! Dickens, yeah. he gets two. Yeah, that was a, that was set up perfectly. 
Two point game with one minute left in the second quarter. Merkin dribbles right down. He pulls up. Gentile gets the rebound. Yeah, you can take a little time off here. Unless you, unless you get a layup, you want to take a little bit of time off. 23-21, Hollison up by two. Oh, oh. Dumas loses it, and Dickens going the other way. Nice steal. Merkin there to steal look it. Look down, look down. You've got the man. There it is. Oh. And the foul. He had him too. Merck had him just, just a little bit too late. Yeah. But I like the way when Hollison's running the break. They get, they get an open man down here in the left-hand side of the basket all day long. And what Hollison's been able to do, and I don't know if they're doing it purposely, instead of bringing it down the center of the floor, they're bringing it down to the right, which is opening that guy up even more. Fouls on number 10, Ryan Reynolds. Shot clock turned off. 25 seconds to play in the first half. Yeah, you've got, again, you want to hold this unless you get your shot. Merkin for three. Yes. Guess what? He got his shot. 26-21. Yeah. Hollison by five. 14 seconds left. No fouls here, boys. Depp goes up. Ooh. He gets two. He's good. Boy, is he Holston good. Hollison with five seconds. Gentile, the deep shot, doesn't fall. 26-23, Holliston with a three-point lead going into halftime here. We will be back after the half.
Thank you. Okay. But they still, you still got it, right? Yeah, I checked the YouTube when I went to the bathroom. It's, it's up. Indeed. Yep. All right, welcome back here to Holliston. The Panthers up three over Hopedale, 26-23. I'm Bryce Mustard here with Jay Wyman. I apologize, or we apologize for the issue with the stream. Uh, I hope you found this one. If not, I mean, you wouldn't be listening yeah. to me either way. <laughs> so, uh, Jay, what are you thinking going into the second half here? I like it. I like I like the way the team has come out. They're playing really loose. Um, it's funny they came out with a lot of smiles on the face, you know. So maybe they come on. This this is this is one we can grab and we can take this one home and. Uh, the, for the guys who are seniors like yourself, uh, this is the last game, and the other guys got something to build on for next year. Yeah, and like we talked about the no pressure thing, like you said, I mean, it's just go and have fun. Yeah, it's yeah. It's easier sometimes. Yeah. Now, while we got a second here, so we're going to talk about you for a little bit. Senior, yeah. going to Marist yes, next sir. year. Yeah. And any, uh, would you want to major in? Do you know what you're going to major in? Yeah, I think I'm going to major in uh, film production. Oh, nice. Yeah, Good. And, and just get involved with, uh, you know, the studio there, do whether, I'd like to continue to do some of this. Yeah, some I think you should. You, you're really good at it. You really Thank should, you. yeah. Yeah, so it's definitely an exciting future ahead. Good. Yeah. Good. Looking you looking forward, forward to it? Yeah, yeah. 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 It, it, you're just finishing up now. you got the, of course, you're getting vacation next week and, Vacation in April, and then, then the it's so quick, right? Yeah.